really enjoying the series. Mm -hmm. I've got one episode left. Yeah. But it's midnight. Do you save it for the next day or do you stay up and watch it? Oh no. Oh no, no, God, no. I'm the person that stays up to whatever time in the morning watching it. That hunger to watch one more is pretty strong. I'll definitely stay up an extra hour in the middle of the night to watch another episode of my favourite TV show. No, if, if there's an opportunity to cane a load of episodes in one go of something, I'm a terrible binge watcher. I will always carry on watching, and it drives my wife nuts, because she will go to bed and say, do not watch, and I will watch and then maybe pretend that I didn't. I would always finish it. I'm very guilty of that. I stay up and watch it and finish it off. I can't sleep, we're not watching the episode, no. I have to stay up late. <laughs> you know, anything that leaves you on a bit of a cliffhanger, you're wanting it resolved. Oh, if I have one episode left at midnight, I'm, I'm watching it. Definitely. I would absolutely stay up and watch it, because if you've got one more episode to go, you might as well just finish it off. And then you've binge watched it all, and then you can binge watch the next, another show the next day. <laughs> I was watching another anime yesterday, and there were 11 episodes of the series, I think. And I got to 10, and I needed to get in a car to go somewhere else. So I finished the 10th one, got ready in 20 minutes, and then watched the last episode in the car on the way to where I was going. It's the same on planes. I just, I just think I've got to get, a if I'm flying to LA, I just think I have got to get myself onto that time zone. But Mayor of Easttown, I went through on two flights and made myself so tired when I got to the other end, I just thought, Kate Winslet and Jean Smart, damn you ladies. I am not very good at the willpower and I stay up and finish it and, and then feel it the next morning, especially if it's an early start and you go, oh, that's, that's sleep I'm definitely feeling I've missed. The worst thing is if you're watching a box set, or like a TV a drama that's across seven parts, say, that I'm the one that always needs the next one straight away, so I end up binge watching something till like two in the morning, and I suffer the next day because of it. Even though I've got to go up really early in the morning, I have found myself completely engrossed. And I always then will get annoyed because it'll be half one, two, and I think, could I just spread this out? But I'm like a kid in a, like a sweet shop, I just need to know. To me, it's like opening a, a whole big, bag of sweeties or a packet of biscuits, you can leave one in the packet. No, I can carry on watching <laughs> and then I'm very, very tired and resentful the next morning. But it's always worth it, I think. Like Afterlife, I had to watch the whole lot and I was looking at my watch and thinking, I've got to be in my bed, <laughs> I've got to go to bed, I'm up really early. And I couldn't stop myself, I had to watch it and thank goodness I did because it was I mean, the morning show would be one where I'm really happy to spend the whole night watching that, back to back to back. I was late to um, Stathlet's Flats. I'm a little bit in love with Jamie Dimitri. I remember watching Transparent, uh, starting at 11, being like, I'll go to bed at midnight, I'll watch one episode, and I watched the whole series and called in sick for work. I, I hadn't ever seen it, and that show when I was at home watching you know, old ones of that. Not old, old, but you know what I mean. That's what I get into trouble with. I wasn't an actor at the time, so it wasn't out of order. It was a job that didn't really want me to be there because I was really bad at that job. All these stacking shows, etc. Those, those two shows, and a bit of Kieran Culkin in succession as well. <laughs> I think if I had one episode left at midnight, I would realistically probably watch it because I'm a night owl. I'm quite disciplined. I don't like going to bed too late because I do like my sleep. I'm not a binger. Like, I'll do, because I love to get in bed by 10 o'clock. I'm such a nana. So we start at eight, might get two episodes of something in, and then I'm, I'm quite fierce on, no, tomorrow night, we have to come back to it tomorrow night. I could also save it till the next day because it'll keep me going through the rest of the day knowing that I have an episode to watch. I'm really happy to leave a show, you know, the last episode in the series to be watched tomorrow. My husband, he's always like, just one more? Um, no, no, so I'm a saver. It's like saving your treat. And I like that, because I, I love programmes that don't come out all in one go, um, because it has that water cooler moment, it has that people have to wait, and that's how we used to watch TV. I think you're the first person who said that. Really? People yeah. just binge, binge, binge? Oh no, it's my bedtime, like, I'm like, no, I've got to go to bed. <laughs>